Hey, our friends, today we're going to be drawing... Pancakes! Yeah, pancakes. <laughs> or hotcakes. Hotcakes, I like hotcakes. <laughs> we hope you have a marker and some paper in front of you, and you're going to follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah! We're going to start by drawing the first pancake at the top of the stack. Okay. And we're going to draw a foreshortened circle, or a squished circle. And we're going to start like this. Come around. Like that, and then connect. And it's okay if it's all wobbly because pancakes aren't perfect circles. Yes, I make it thick. There you go. Awesome. Okay, now the pancake is has some thickness to it, right? Yeah. So we're going to draw the thickness that comes around all the way over to the other side. And you want to make sure you're on the very edge. Yeah. Good, that's our first pancake. Now we're going to draw another one right underneath it. So we're going to draw another s curve or circle. Comes around and we don't want to be too far away because the pancakes are stacked. Yeah. If you're really far away, it's going to make this pancake look like it's floating. So now let's add the thickness and we want this thickness to look the same as the first pancake. <laughs> We're going to draw a really tall stack of hotcakes. Yes. How many do you think we should draw? Five. <laughs> Five? Maybe. Okay. Let's fast forward. We're going to repeat those same steps to create each of the, the pancakes. And you can make it really tall and draw a lot of them. Or you could just draw three if we wanted. We could end. We could just do one more thickness. Like that. I think we should add two more. Like okay. you said, let's draw five. Okay. Okay, so let's fast forward. <laughs> Look, it's like leaning over and it's completely on that side. Yeah. Your pancakes are getting smaller as you go down. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Mine were getting a little smaller too, and they also got a little crooked. That's okay, right? The leaning tower of pancakes. Of pancakes. <laughs> Not every pancake is the exact same size, so I think it's all right. Let's draw the plate at the very bottom. So now we're going to draw another foreshortened circle. So this is a circle that's been tipped, right? And we're going to draw it behind. So we're going to imagine it going behind the stack of pancakes and then coming around the front. It's a giant pancake. At yeah, the it kind of looks like a giant, <laughs> giant one. <laughs> And it's going to come around like that. So that's the bottom. Almost looks like a top hat, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. A stack of pancakes for a top hat. That would be cool. Okay, and then we could add the thickness to our plate. So I'm going to come around. I'm going to do the same thing we did to the pancakes, but I'm going to draw a little thinner. So our plate is thinner. This, come around to the very edge. Like that. <laughs> that is a huge stack of pancakes. And that is a really <laughs> thick plate. <laughs> thick plate. <laughs> now let's draw a little slice of butter sitting on the top of our pancakes. So I'm going to draw a crazy square shape. I'm going to draw an L that's, or a sideways V. And then I'm going to draw the top of the butter. Finish it. And then we can add thickness to the butter, right? Yeah. So let's add a line down on each side. Okay. And yeah, you can also put it in the corner right there. And then we're, we're gonna draw the bottom of the butter. Good job, you did it. What's our stack of pancakes missing? Syrup. Syrup, yeah. So we're gonna draw a wobbly line, watch this, that comes over here. And then it's gonna come to the edge and then we're gonna draw a drip coming down. So draw a little wobbly line. Yes, and then draw a U-shape coming down. Now I'm going to draw an upside down U right here. And then I'm going to draw syrup drip that comes down even further. Draw another U-shape, upside down U. Maybe this is a short drip. It's going to come down just a little bit and back up. This one, I'm not going to go all the way to the top. We could come around and create another drip. Sir, mm, man, this is looking good, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay, now right here on the end, I'm going to draw another upside down U or rainbow line. And we could draw 
a drip on the side of our pancakes. And then I'm going to draw a curve that goes to the top. Now you could use your imagination to draw all kinds of drips. And we could even draw, let's draw another one that's coming down further down like this. Coming down the side. And then we could also draw, let's draw a puddle of syrup down here. You can even draw a little puddle over here of syrup. I'm going to draw one on this side too. <laughs> All right, Jack, what are our pancakes missing? A face. Yeah, a funny face. All right, I'm going to draw a crazy, I'm going to draw one eye over here and another eye on the other side of the butter. <laughs> and you guys at home could leave off the pancake face if you want, <laughs> if you just want to draw a stack of pancakes, or you could draw a crazier face than what we're drawing. <laughs> I'm going to do the usual. I'm going to add little reflections in his eyes and then color in the big circle. If we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, you guys can always pause the video. And then I'm going to draw his mouth right here. I'm going to draw a crazy mouth like you did on the hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and the tongue off to the side. <laughs> All right, we did it. I like your face. That's awesome. All right. That right. <laughs> gave me an idea. I'm going to draw... A little swirl like this, like it's hot. Whew. Little steam coming off that's the top. Hair. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, let's put our markers off to the side. What should we do next? Color it. Yeah, we're going to fast forward again. But at the end, you can pause it so you can match the color. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right, right now. now. We finished coloring our pancakes. Did you have fun? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The hair. Making them hairy cakes? Hair cakes. I love hair cakes. <laughs> so gross. Now you guys can pause the video right now so that you can match the coloring that we did. Now we, we colored the pancakes first and then we used our dark brown to lightly go over the syrup so that the syrup looks transparent or clear. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing and coloring your pancakes with us and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs>